Hello there, Carlos here. In this video I'll be looking at how to remove any passcodes or disabled screens from a Apple device. Now this can be used on any iteration or version of the device from the iPhones to the iPads to the iPods and it doesn't matter which generation or model you have, it can be the 2G all the way up to the 6S. Now just an example of the screens that may be presented to you. Uh, a password that you don't know, or maybe a disabled screen, which could say permanently disabled connect to iTunes, or maybe 22 million minutes in some case when the battery becomes fully depleted, or in this instance I've got 50 odd minutes. Now what you want to do is you need to turn off the device in question, power it down. You need to have a PC or Mac with iTunes installed, and you need to have your USB cable 30 pin or lightning and that has to be connected to the USB port on your computer. Now you're going to grab your lightning cable in this case you're going to hold down the home button and keep it held and then insert the cable which is connected to the computer. Keep holding the home button before and during the insertion of the cable. Keep holding now and you'll be presented with the restore screen. In this case this graphic is for iOS 9 so it's a bit multicolored this iteration. Now you may have a red icon which is iOS 8 or you may have a blue which is iOS 7 and older. It doesn't matter which one you're presented with, they're all the same. And this process works on all of them regardless. Now if you pop over to your computer you should see a window pop up now. If not open up iTunes and you'll be presented with the option to restore or update. Now you want to restore the device. If you update then it won't remove the passcodes. It will simply update the version of the software that you have. And when restoring the device, you're going to delete all of the data on the device, and that includes the passcode. Just confirm your option, restore and update, which will delete all your data and take you to the latest version of the software. Now here I've just got it dual screened so that you can see the process on the phone and also in the iTunes box. So what will happen is a bar will come across in iTunes showing you the progress of the restore process and then it will also show on the phone. And now all you need to do is wait roughly three to five minutes. It does depend on the device you have. The, the faster the speed of the CPU, the faster this process can be. You may need to download the latest iOS version when you do this and it can take quite a while depending on server speeds and the size of the file itself. So you just need to hold out and download that and then come back and start this process. Now once the restore completes, uh, the loading bar will get to the end. You need to allow it to get to the end before you unplug. But once it gets to the end of the loading bar and you presented with the hello welcome screen then you can go ahead and unplug your device you will need a connection to the internet for the next step and you'll need a compatible sim card also if you have a GSM device which needs a sim card in this case we've got the iPhone so we do need a sim in there and just go ahead with the steps um, you can go ahead and put in all your different settings such as your Apple ID and all your backups and things. In this case, I'm just going through it quickly to show you as an example. Like I said, choose whatever it is that you like. Set up your phone how you like it. Now the device is completely wiped. And so you're just going through the setup menus here. And since it is wiped, you'll find that it has no passcodes on, which is what we all wanted in the first place. And there you are. No data, no passcodes. It's a fresh device. And that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. And if you did find the video helpful, 
I would really appreciate if you could like it and also subscribe to my channel as that's always appreciated by me. Thank you so much and I'll see you soon.